becoming an intellectual beast. In a world where knowledge is power, becoming an intellectual beast, a force of intellectual prowess and insight, is an endeavor worth pursuing. Intellectual beasts are not born, they are crafted through dedication, curiosity, and a relentless pursuit of learning. If you aspire to join the ranks of the intellectually formidable, here are some strategies to help you unleash your inner intellectual beast. Cultivate curiosity. Curiosity is the fuel that drives intellectual growth. Cultivate a genuine interest in the world around you. Ask questions relentlessly, seek out answers, and never be satisfied with superficial explanations. Whether delving into the mysteries of quantum physics or exploring the intricacies of ancient civilizations, approach every subject with a sense of wonder and curiosity. Curiosity is the fuel that drives intellectual growth. Take a moment to reflect on what topics or subjects ignite your curiosity. What burning questions keep you up at night? How do you plan to pursue your interests and satisfy your thirst for knowledge? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Read widely and deeply. Reading is the cornerstone of intellectual development. Expand your horizons by reading books, articles, and essays from a diverse range of subjects. Dive deep into complex topics, but don't neglect the breadth of knowledge. Explore different genres, perspectives, and historical periods to develop a well-rounded understanding of the world. Take the following quiz to test your reading habits. How many books do you aim to read in the next six months? A. Less than 3. B. 3 to 5. C. 6 to 10. D. More than 10. What genres do you typically read? A. Fiction only. B. Non-fiction only. C. Both fiction and non-fiction. D. Other. Please specify. How do you choose what books to read? A. Recommendations from friends or family. B. Bestseller lists or book reviews. C. Personal interests or curiosity. D. Other. Please specify. Share your quiz answers and discuss your reading goals with fellow readers. Embrace critical thinking. Intellectual beasts are discerning thinkers who question assumptions, challenge conventional wisdom, and analyze information rigorously. Sharpen your critical thinking skills by evaluating arguments, identifying logical fallacies, and weighing evidence objectively. Learn to separate fact from opinion and cultivate a healthy skepticism towards received wisdom. Here's an exercise to sharpen your critical thinking skills. Reflect on a recent news article or opinion piece you've encountered. Analyze the author's arguments and identify any logical fallacies or biases. Consider alternative perspectives and evaluate the evidence presented. What conclusions can you draw from your analysis? Share your insights with us in the comment section below. Engage in intellectual discourse. Engaging in intellectual discourse is essential for honing your ideas and refining your understanding. Seek out opportunities to participate in debates, discussions, and academic forums where you can exchange ideas with others. Listen actively, consider alternative viewpoints, and be open to constructive criticism. Remember, intellectual growth thrives in the crucible of debate and dialogue. Here's a discussion prompt to get you started. What is a topic or issue you're passionate about discussing? Why does it matter to you, and what perspectives do you think are important to consider? Share your thoughts and engage in a respectful dialogue with fellow readers. Pursue lifelong learning. The journey to intellectual mastery is a lifelong pursuit. Commit yourself to continuous learning and self-improvement. Take courses, attend lectures, and participate in workshops to expand your knowledge base and acquire new skills. Embrace challenges and view setbacks as opportunities for growth. Remember, the path to intellectual greatness is paved with perseverance and dedication. Here's a self-reflection exercise to help you assess your commitment to lifelong learning. Take a moment to review your recent learning experiences. What new skills have you acquired, and what challenges have you overcome? How do you plan to continue your learning journey in the future? Share your reflections and inspire others to embrace lifelong learning. Develop intellectual habits. Cultivate habits that support your intellectual growth. Dedicate time each day to reading, writing, and reflection. Keep a journal to record your thoughts, insights, and discoveries. 
Practice mindfulness to sharpen your focus and enhance your cognitive abilities. By integrating intellectual pursuits into your daily routine, you'll gradually transform into an intellectual powerhouse. Cultivate humility. True intellectual mastery requires humility. Recognize that no matter how much you know, there is always more to learn. Be open to new ideas, perspectives, and experiences. Embrace intellectual humility by acknowledging your limitations and being willing to revise your beliefs in the face of new evidence. Remember, the pursuit of knowledge is a journey without end, and humility is the compass that guides you along the way. Becoming an intellectual beast is not a destination but a journey, a journey of self-discovery, growth, and enlightenment. By cultivating curiosity, embracing critical thinking, engaging in intellectual discourse, and pursuing lifelong learning, you can unlock your full intellectual potential and unleash your inner beast. Remember, the world belongs to those who dare to think, question, and explore. So go forth and conquer the realms of knowledge with the ferocity of an intellectual beast. If you found value in this video please give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe to support this channel. Please share across social media platforms to reach a wider audience. Participating in debates, discussions, and academic forums can be an enriching experience. Here are some practical ways to get involved. Join academic clubs and societies. Many schools, colleges, and universities have academic clubs and societies dedicated to specific fields of study or areas of interest. Joining these organizations can provide opportunities to engage in debates, discussions, and academic forums with like-minded individuals. Look for clubs related to your academic interests and attend their meetings, events, and workshops. Example, Pilar, a passionate environmental science student, joined her university's ecology club. Through regular meetings and events, she engaged in discussions about pressing environmental issues, such as climate change and habitat destruction. By participating in the club's debates and forums, Pilar not only expanded her knowledge but also honed her communication skills and learned to articulate her ideas effectively among her peers. Attend conferences and symposia. Academic conferences and symposia are ideal venues for engaging in intellectual discourse and exchanging ideas with experts in your field. Keep an eye out for conferences relevant to your interests and consider submitting abstracts or papers for presentation. Attend panel discussions, keynote lectures, and poster sessions to network with fellow academics and participate in stimulating discussions. Example, Charles, a graduate student in psychology, attended a national conference on cognitive psychology. During the conference, he had the opportunity to attend panel discussions on cutting-edge research in his field and engage in debates about controversial theories. Through these interactions with fellow researchers and experts, Charles gained valuable insights, challenged his assumptions, and refined his research questions for his thesis. Join online communities and forums. The Internet has made it easier than ever to connect with people who share your academic interests. Join online communities, forums, and discussion groups related to your field of study or area of expertise. Participate in online debates, ask questions, and share your insights with fellow members. Platforms like Reddit, Quora, and academic forums hosted by professional organizations are excellent places to start. Example. Micah, an aspiring computer scientist, joined an online forum dedicated to artificial intelligence and machine learning. She actively participated in discussions, asking questions about advanced algorithms and sharing her experiences with programming languages. Through interactions with fellow forum members, Micah not only expanded her knowledge, but also developed a supportive network of peers who provided feedback on her coding projects and research ideas. Participate in workshops and seminars. Many academic institutions and research organizations offer workshops, seminars, and colloquia on various topics and disciplines. Attend these events to learn from experts, engage in discussions, and network with other participants. Look for opportunities to present your research or share your expertise during these sessions, as they can provide valuable feedback and constructive criticism. Example. Kelly, a history buff, attended a seminar on ancient civilizations hosted by a local museum. 
During the seminar, he engaged in lively discussions with archaeologists and historians about recent discoveries and interpretations of historical events. Through these interactions, Kelly gained new perspectives on ancient cultures and learned to critically evaluate primary sources and archaeological evidence. Start a study group. Gather a group of peers who share your academic interests and organize a study group or discussion circle. Meet regularly to discuss assigned readings, debate controversial topics, and brainstorm ideas for research projects. Encourage active participation and open dialogue within the group. And consider inviting guest speakers or experts to join your discussions. Example, Emily, a chemistry major, formed a study group with her classmates to prepare for an upcoming exam on organic chemistry. During their study sessions, they worked through challenging problems, discussed complex concepts, and shared helpful resources. By collaborating with her peers, Emily not only improved her understanding of the subject, but also developed stronger analytical and problem-solving skills. Volunteer for panel discussions or debates. Keep an eye out for opportunities to volunteer for panel discussions, debates, or public forums hosted by your academic institution or local community organizations. Offer to serve as a panelist or debater on topics relevant to your expertise or interests. Prepare thoroughly by researching the topic, gathering evidence to support your arguments, and practicing speaking skills. Example, Mark, a political science enthusiast, volunteered to participate in a panel discussion on global governance at his university. As a panelist, he shared his research on international institutions and engaged in spirited debates with fellow students and faculty members. Through this experience, Mark refined his argumentative skills, learned to anticipate counter-arguments, and gained confidence in defending his viewpoints in a public forum. Publish articles or blog posts. Consider writing articles or blog posts on topics of interest within your field of study and publishing them on academic websites, online platforms, or personal blogs. Sharing your insights and expertise through writing can spark discussions, attract feedback from readers, and establish your credibility as an intellectual contributor. Engage with commenters and readers to foster dialogue and exchange ideas. Example, Julia, a budding writer and literature student, started a blog where she analyzed classic novels and discussed literary themes and motifs. Her blog posts attracted a loyal readership of fellow literature enthusiasts who engaged with her content through comments and discussions. By sharing her insights and interpretations online, Julia not only cultivated a community of like-minded readers, but also deepened her understanding of literary theory and criticism. Network with peers and mentors. Networking is essential for building relationships with peers, mentors, and experts in your field. Attend networking events, academic receptions, and social gatherings to connect with fellow academics and professionals. Exchange contact information, follow up with potential collaborators or mentors, and nurture these relationships over time. Networking can lead to invitations to participate in debates, discussions, and academic forums, as well as collaborations on research projects and publications. If you enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe to our channel for more self-improvement videos. Comment below to tell us how useful you found this video. Remember to share on various social media platforms to reach a wider audience. Click the notification bell to get notified anytime we post a new video. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.